Hey everybody, welcome back to my layout. So this will be a layout update for June 2014. We start down here on the layout and really the only thing I got in in the last couple months since the big train show in April there was this one gondola from Rapido Trains came in uh, a couple weeks ago so thought I might as well show you something since I haven't gotten any rolling stock in for a while but this is the new Rapido 52 foot 6 inch mill gondola it's a little bit old for my era but uh, they do make really nice freight cars so I thought I'd get one just have a look and see what it what it looks like they do have these ends that come out So they are a true drop end. The uh, floor of the car is die cast too as well, so it has, an, it has a pretty decent weight to it. And if you zoom in, you can see there's a lot of detail. It's a really nice looking car. And if you flip it over, you can see all the crazy detail they add to the bottom of it, which is pretty cool. Brake piping and all sorts of stuff. You get what you pay for, I guess. I think these are about 45 bucks. It's a little on the pricey end, but uh, you do get all that nice detail. It is pretty cool that you could take those ends off and have them laying in the car like the prototype if they're going to put something longer than the car in. Kind of cool that you can do that. So That's the uh, 52 foot 6 inch mill gondola from Rapido Trains. And that's everything that's new down here guys. It's been so nice out I haven't had a chance to work down here and not really the desire to either. But uh, we'll go up to my desk and have a look at the progress I'm making with that Cato AC 4400. And then I got something else to show you out in the garage. So if you guys remember back to May, you saw I was working on this Cato AC 4400 and I had finished the black wash on it. So I did work on it a little bit over the last month. Not a whole lot. I uh, finished the airbrush portion of the weathering. Got that finished. Uh, unmasked it. And now it's ready for me to start the uh, sound and DCC install on the chassis so that's what I've been working on you can see here I've got the chassis out and I'm just starting installing the uh, first speaker into the fuel tank with silicone so I was working on that today because it was raining but here's a bit of a lower angle you can see the, a little bit more of the weathering up close it turned out pretty good I was kinda kicking myself I have a bad habit of uh, over spraying when I'm using my airbrush it seems like it's so easy to put too much on. I also think uh, I'm going to stick to chalks for the soot on the top of the model just because it's way too easy to go over the top with uh, with your airbrush and spray too much so it still looks pretty good I'm I'm happy with it I just I keep making little mental notes to remind myself not to spray too much and, and this one was done with a combination of uh, of chalks weathering chalks ap applied with a brush and then uh, the road grime and stuff was the done with a airbrush. So that's where I'm at with that locomotive project guys. If we keep getting as much rain as we've been getting over the last few days here in Alberta I'll probably get this thing done because it actually goes quite fast once you get to this point. It's not too hard to do the DCC and sound and I'm actually doing a build video as I install the decoder in this one. This is the third one I've done and uh, I want to show how to because these cattles are really this is a good model to practice on especially if you want to get into doing DCC and sound installs and this one is really easy to do so I'm kind of doing a build log as I do this one and I'll probably make a video maybe in the next month about how to install 
DCC sound and LEDs if you want in one of these uh, Caddo AC 4400s. So keep an eye out for that. So now we'll go to the garage and I'll show you what I've been working on out there. So I spent a lot of time uh, out here in the garage over the last month working on my module. At the wiring stage of the uh, build, a surprisingly large amount of uh, wiring that goes into this. So it's got uh, an SCP Sinologic Systems uh, switch control panel on each side and that activates the uh, tortoise switch motor here. So there's one on each side, they're wired in series so you can press either one on each side and it will do the same thing. There's also a uh, Digitrax UP5 on each side so operators can plug in on either side of the module when they're running a train and be able to control it. So this is the busy end of the module. It's got the tortoise switch machine, the Sinologic system switch controller which slides right onto the tortoise switch machine and then two uh, push buttons wired in series that are connected to that. So when you press the button, it slow motion activates the, uh, the tortoise. Just like that. And it will do the same thing from the other side if you push the button. You still need to get a, a six wire telephone cord to uh, connect the two UP5s together, but other than that, it's done. The wiring is complete. And if you, it's built to Calgary Fremo standards, so the uh, the track bus, there's two buses that run through it. The black and white is the track bus, so that's your DCC signal, and the red and white is your 12 volt DC uh, accessory bus, and that's what powers things like the tortoise switch machine and the push buttons, stuff like that. So I'll flip it over and we'll watch the switch machine working. So there's an overview shot, kind of, you can kind of see how it's going to look more when it's finished. Flush mounted uh, UP5s and the uh, Sinologic SCPs. So obviously I still need to uh, cut the piano wire off there that comes up from the tortoise but uh, you cut that off flush and then you actually put some silicone or something in there and it will uh, actuate a lot smoother because there's no right now there's some play in the wire there so if you put some silicone it actually says to do that in the instructions it'll um, move as one with the, with the wire so that'll catch us up to mid June 2014 I plan on uh, working away at this. I'm pumped now that I got the wiring done. I can uh, start some of the scenery, maybe some of the structures on the top of the module. It is a big milestone getting that wiring finished that uh, took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. So I'm going to keep uh, rolling with that. On the nice days, uh, I'll probably get out on my bike and take some more rail finding videos. Something I try to do a little bit more in the summer to make the most of the nice weather. As always, thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope you have a great summer. We'll see you next time.